Yeah. Uh, righto. Uh, so the, the, timing's, uh, the timing when it starts is a bit weird. It's like when I gain control of Bond, so I'll, yeah, you'll have to be ready. Anyway, uh, okay, get ready on the timer. All right, so it'll be as soon as you like see me gain control of Bond, yeah. All right. Go. And we're off. All right, welcome to Nightfire. This, uh, is, uh, from, this is a game from the early 2000s. It was part of a whole bunch of like third, uh, third party like, licensed Bond games that were amazing. Yeah. Um, Liam's doing exchange right now, and he's just kind of running through it and alerting everyone. This is probably like one of the coolest levels in an FPS. It gives you so many options. Yeah, there's like so many ways you can go in this mission. It's so great. It's basically like if you took Camp Omega from Ground Zeroes and just like made it into an FPS level with James Bond. It's, it's really fun. But Liam's not going to be doing any of that. He's going to be running straight through here. There's some RNG with these spotlights. Oh, I forgot entirely about that. I'll play it safe. Yeah, so he's just gonna play it safe. Okay, no, nah, I'm good, I'm that good. That wasn't too bad. That was good? Yeah. Oh, was... I almost touched that one. Yeah, if he touches those, it's just a bit of a time loss. It's very annoying. Okay, nice. Okay. So, Liam is going to Chad Strike. Yeah. Body. So, the meme here is usually I look at the ground, but, uh, <laughs> but today I'm gonna look at eye level to prove I am not an anti social. What's the term? Anti social. And I'm just gonna throw punches at people. Bond, head for the stairs. Okay, so I have to wait, otherwise I get stuck in this guy. You will be seeing this level again. Oh yeah, this later. is weird too. For some reason there's a lighter glitch here. When I pull the lighter back out, it just activates instantly. Alright, so this is the primary tech we're gonna do uh, for like skipping stuff in this game. What is our suggestion? <laughs> like that. So it, it's kinda weird. It's like so my hitbox is different when I don't have a gun or a gadget out. So I can just, I can like crouch and stand up and pull out a gun or a gadget and my hitbox changes. What was my pace to that door? Was it, I think it was a 147 or a 148, that's fine. Right, so I'm gonna be scared about one thing at this bit. Yeah, so I, I'll help front load this while Liam concentrates. So there are a few things in this level. You need to have like some good aim on these guys. There's a little bit of RNG going into a room here where two guys stand. But that's not the thing he's going to be really worried about. Oh, uh, so no. as you break this control panel and get through. Okay, they're nice and close at least, but you kind of have to turn around a bit. Um, he's coming up on a section where he's going to be in like a um, like a sky rail, like tram car gondola thing. Gondola, that's it. He's going to be in a gondola, and he needs to blow up a helicopter. And up, you yeah. can actually like shoot most of your rockets really early and just like avoid the whole helicopter boss fight. So he's gonna concentrate for this okay, one. Okay, so I stand inside the gondola and that actually activates it without me standing in here. And I have to shoot these uh, guys. These guys can lag your game and I believe also shoot your rocket and like Yeah, they can blow up my rockets. So okay, you, I got him, nice. nice. Oh, there's good one stars. left. But he shouldn't give me any Bless RNG. trouble. So this is a precise lineup here, and I have an audio cue. Nice. nice. Okay, I have to mash pretty fast here. Nice. So this level's a pretty long auto scroller. There's only like a few speed tricks here and there. If you have any donations, or yeah, now's like, like to uh, an amazing incentives. time for it. <laughs> oh, I can I can draw in the snow. Hang on. Yeah, Liam will just have some fun drawing while you read stuff out. I'm gonna draw a big fat pal. We'll explain that in a moment. Uh, no new donations yet. We've uh, we got some random cool out before. Um, there are a couple of incentives coming up though, um, specifically for Xenoblade Chronicles. Just to fight one of the super bosses, uh, you can choose which one you want. Uh, you just uh, bid for which boss you're after. Uh, and there is a character selection for Crash Team Racing uh, for other run star. So yeah, get the donations in. And, uh, thanks very much for the donations we've already got. We're doing really well. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yeah, there's like... <laughs> this level, you technically don't need to do anything at all in it. Legitimately, and it'll complete automatically. There are a few optimizations in but the run. Yeah. yeah, and like, you don't need to do anything until the end of the level where there's like two guys that'll actually like ruin you if you don't kill them. 
But you, you can also skip a brief uh, sort of cutscene if you line up a rocket nicely. Yeah, there's a there's a part where I can shoot a guy through a cutscene. Uh, it's it's um it's precise. It's not really precise, but it's precise. So the reason. Uh, Liam oh, hang on. I, ju I just need to give a quick shout out to my boy Infinite Sheldor. I believe you'll get the 402 on this level one day, my dude. Please keep at it. All right. So I got, I'm going to try and line this up. Hang on. That should work. Got him. Nice. Nailed him. Nice. Yeah, so I speed up like the instant I kill that guy, so... Are you going to go for the uh, air shots at the heli? That lags when I look there. <laughs> I, I don't do, do it that anymore. anymore. No! <laughs> Okay, yeah. so, so the reason Liam was memeing about PAL, and trust me, Liam really memes about PAL, um, is it's the best way to run this game. Um, it's actually not. NTSC is technically faster. No, 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 none of that. Don't you betray the PAL PALs like this. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, is that all top three times on this game, myself, Ollie, and Matt Timber, we all run on PAL and we all have 37s. And the next person down with a uh, 38 uh, is on NTSC. Okay, so I'm gonna look up at the sky so the game doesn't lag. <laughs> Cause this game lags, but it doesn't it's not like Goldeneye. This game actually runs at a pretty stable frame rate. Sorry, sorry, we're going to make a Don't know if you can even say that Goldeneye runs, given the frame rate you get in that game. <laughs> Alright, so these are the two guys that'll ruin me. The first guy I can just fire where my crosshair is placed, and the second guy I need to get rid of him. There we go. Alright, so <laughs> The rest of this level is pretty straightforward, but I'm coming up on a level that'll like either make or break the run. Uh, my goal for this marathon is a 38 or a 39. If I don't get that, I'm just I'm pretty disappointed. But but uh, this next level is like a car, and I've got to like wedge myself out of bounds, and it's like. I think it's best if we like sort of front load the info so you can concentrate when you get there. Yeah. Uh, it's a big driving level. Um, oh, did you see that? Nice. Yeah. So coming up is enemies vanquished. Okay, hang on, hang on. I really to... want to focus here. Yeah, I'll explain after the fact. I'll just say that the old strap for this level used to be like hell. All right. Oh, go out of bounds! Ah! There we nice. go! So, as old mate Softman25 would say, you just chuck it. What, did you see what time I went over the... I did not. You might have to ballpark this. I'm gonna guess it was a 51 or a 52. It's... Chat, quick, quick! Is there a delay? But anyways, to, to explain the trick, he'll, he'll get it sorted. Um, hopefully. Uh, what you do at the beginning there is turn right around, and you knock down one of those roadblocks, and you kind of align yourself with the uh, little slope and the other roadblock behind you, and the game just does not okay, know I'm what good. to do. So it starts pushing you around, and it's a little finicky, and it's kind of random, but you're hoping that the physics will push and, the and car now, up now I'm, on the And now I'm at the, the end of the level. <laughs> yeah, so you basically drive out of bounds for a certain amount of time, and then you fall, and you just yeah, you land here. Okay, that's a 103. That's pretty damn that was, good. I was going to say, that's solid. Like, having to only... <laughs> this is technically... Oh, my lav fell down. Could you? Could somebody reattach this? I need to... Please. Hold on. Oh, Could you, you explain Mayhew? Okay, we got someone coming up to help. Okay, so Mayhew... It's stuck on my shoe. Mayhew sucks. Uh, yeah, Mayhew sucks. The way Mayhew's AI works, if I'm gonna get this right, he, is, he moves faster when you are looking at him, and he can behave really annoyingly. He basically gets really scared whenever there are enemies. So you have to go in, Okay, clear well, he's pretty good for now. And then he runs right towards you. Um, uh, do you want to die? But, uh, so Liam has to go in, clear out the enemies, look at Mayhew and be like, you know, get over here. Uh, okay, yeah, I have to yeah, look at... Oh, he's fast. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is good Mayhew. I don't have a stun grenade, though. I should be okay. What you would usually do if you have a stun nade is you would go in this, um... There's multiple ways of doing it. Yeah. I'm just going to use the shaver. Yeah, the shaver works pretty nicely. Oh, this is so good, dude! This is great so far. You should... Uh, I want to give a quick shout-out to... Oh, yeah, Mayhew's neck is, like, displaced. 
But I want to give a quick shout out to the TAS of this game by Fittest Space Gamer Freak and I think it was Alak Um <laughs> The, um, they actually shoot and make you on the same frame the level changes and it, it's really funny. Uh, he's the source of in, immense frustration for like all runners of this oh, game. Oh, I did have a stun grenade. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> it was still such a good Mayhew. You're just flexing on the game, mate. What are you, right, what are you gonna on. do? Unveil to... Deep Descent Skip? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I'll unveil the long-awaited Deep Descent Skip while I'm here. Beat that cheeky Frenchy baguette boy, Matt Timber. Oh yeah, shoutouts to Matt Timber, the guy who has world record, but plays this game on a HD TV. Why did I know you would you would bring this? To yeah, can we can we just all get some like some rage in chat to get Matt Timber to get a CRT, please? Can can we get some uh, some love for Matt Timber in chat? All right, I, I need to focus here. Oh my god. So I might get ruined here. Uh, there's a there's an NPC that can die here if I'm not careful. And it just seems almost random, almost. Okay, I'm good. Okay, nice. Yeah, that girl there, she can she can die and I'll fail if I do that. Uh, coming up next is a quick boss fight that Liam will hopefully be able to do Come almost on. instantly. It's like a ninja oh, boss fight. Oh, I dropped fight. on the ground. Oh, rip. So I need the sniper here. That wasn't too bad. You kind of I'm at the top 11. Dude, this is like this is good pace. 37 pace. That's good. Um, so this ninja can flip in a variety of ways. He can flip sideways, he can flip backwards. And I believe you usually set up for him flipping backwards, so you can just like... Okay, he's flipped backwards. Nice. So you headshot him and he's dead. If you miss that, however, you lose like a good chunk of... Isn't it like 15 seconds minimum? It, it depends how many times you miss. Yeah. Well, like oh, if you hang miss on. once. So we're coming up on the guards. Oh, night shift. So, uh... Liam's gonna hope he gets his favorite voice line. So there's a... These guards are voiced by like... They're supposed to be Japanese, but you can tell they're not voiced by Japanese people. Everybody in this level uses the stunner, but I find it more amusing to punch them, so let's hope we get the line. Damn it. Who's there? Hit the alert! Aww. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go for a trick here called reverse clip. As you can tell by the dialogue on the subtitles there, nice. they deactivate the elevators, so otherwise you would have to go all the way around and find a way to get in, that, but you just clip in and hit That's the pretty tough of a clip to do. There, I yeah. want to give a quick shout out to PAL again, because there's actually a clip you can do there that's PAL exclusive and faster than NTSC. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe here and duck under the laser. Don't forget that your glasses you can go really fast there and trigger the thing, but if you're fast enough, it doesn't, it doesn't trigger it, but I'm, I'm playing it safe. Oh no. I think he saw me. No, I'm good. Oh, I beat the door! Nice. That if door we... automatically shuts. Hang on, a bit of a cheeky clip here. If I, like, crouch right before I hit the vent... Uh, sorry, hit the grapple, I, I can clip into the vent. Alright, let's hope for a good decrypted code. 6969, let's go. O... Two... Three... Eight. Boring. I've gotten like all kinds of crazy numbers on there. I got an 0666 once. I got an 0666. I got a. I'm gonna put my phone away so it doesn't vibrate on me. It's silent, but I don't want to hear it. That's probably gonna make noise on the floor. I'll hold it. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a frame perfect clip. It doesn't matter if I hit it or not. It only saves a little bit of time. This is the Matt Timber clip. I'm a forget man clip. See if you can use the exterior elevator to gain access. That thing good. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get it. I have to be careful with this vent because it can actually push me out of bounds if I'm not careful. What uh, Liam was trying to go for with the elevator there is he would have like descended through and just clipped into the level and skipped having to wait there. Yeah. Oh, this this door for some reason has a sound bug. So when I open the door, it opens and sounds normally, but pay close attention to when it shuts. I'll, I'll tell you when it's gonna shut. So it opens normally. Also, we can put CDs in the back of monitors for some reason. Listen. That was the door closing. That, like, mechanical sound. Okay. So according to M, there's only one way off this rooftop, but I beg to differ. Not only are walls a suggestion, folks. Floors are too. And also entire buildings. Alright, so I'm coming up on a really, really intense level. This one I really want to focus on. 
this just requires some very like narrow clips and um, just finicky movement. Very easy to mess up and sort of just okay. stuff yourself up. So yeah. Do I have to photograph this jetpack at the start? Damn it! Okay, nice. And we're gonna do a cool clip here. It's nice. If I'm fast, I can usually catch the forklift, but I wasn't, so. We're gonna do another clip here. So at this point on is where the game really starts to show its true colors, per se. I hate this clip so much. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Alright, so technically I'm actually in bounds right now, but it hasn't loaded yet because I didn't pass the trigger to make it load. I think that's how it so works. So yeah, he's like ascending up there, you know, the stairs which were invisible previously. You're not supposed to be able to make that jump. Alright, so this is the, the tough clip. <laughs> I'm... Angles are very important here. Um, the entry is very important. I'm not going to strafe across this. I'm, I'm too yeah. scared. He's just going to play it safe. In my PB, I have to strafe across this, but I'll explain it after. I just want to go for it. So I have a safety method. Yeah, so this is the safety. The more dangerous strat uh, would be just not stopping, not moving nice. the camera. You're just That straight is so up. tough to hit. Oh my yeah, god. Like, even with the safe strat, that was really good. That's a very, very scary clip. Probably one of the scariest in the game. Oh yeah, shoutouts to PAL again. The, the, <laughs> the laser, I don't need to let go of the trigger on PAL, but on NTSC I do. Otherwise, it'll overheat. But besides that... The laser actually breaks the door still faster on NPSC, though. Nice. That is a real pain, that mission. Alright, so this one, this one's tricky, too. Uh, this is probably the coolest level, though. It's, um... So it's called Phoenix Fire, but there's lots of, like... There's lots of, like, really broken clips in this level. Okay. Okay, so this is how you run this game, guys. <laughs> what a disgusting clip. I just want to give a quick shout out to the uh, Nightfire dev that I got in contact with recently. And I showed him, I actually found the core programmer of this game. And I showed him my run, and he's like, This is hilarious, but I'm very upset that this many bugs got through. So I'm playing uh, the briefcase really safe here. So this is a cheeky clip too. Ugh, I think my briefcase is bad. Oh, come on. Ugh. This is so slow. So basically there's like two rooms divided by a wall. I think that might have just been on the come on there, game, which makes the clip really uh, finicky. There, you there go. we go. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, he was kind of like on the barrier right, I there. Need to <laughs> This is the one I really need to focus for. Sorry, just please be quiet. This is this is a frame perfect clip. We here. would really prefer it if the crowd would be quiet. Okay, hang on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hang on. Yeah, got it. Nice. So yeah, that that clip can. can I've, I've seen that clip give Liam so much trouble, he spends the entire elevator trip trying to clip through. So that was like, what, second, third try? That was really, <laughs> that so really good. good. Yeah. All right, and we have one final clip in the level. Oh, by the way, I love this song. My favorite song in the game. Okay. That's most of the I'm hard levels of the game done. I am so glad you didn't choke that. All right, so now we have uh, a resident sleeper level, Deep Descent. There's not much to say. If anybody wants to be my best friend for life, please find a way to skip this level. We know, I just want to say, we know that if we can go out of bounds in this level, we can drive straight to the end, because uh, Fitter Space, um, an amazing uh, member of the Nightfire and 007 community, Found out, he used a cheat code to go out of bounds and he was able to drive straight to the end, but it's just a matter of finding a way out that we can't do just yet. Uh, we've got a donation from Read ahead. Super Metroid, not by JRP. <laughs> um, Super Metroid is the gratis <laughs> game ever. <laughs> Open door, Liam. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> 
Okay, so I have to be really careful on this level because if I fail this, there's no checkpoints in this level. And I got all the way back to the start of the level and it's like a four minute level. It's so dumb. Better keep your distance, James. Those mines look nasty. Keep an eye on donations. <laughs> this is um yeah, this is all auto scroller. Sorry for the lack of It's content. not really auto scroller not, per se, not, but it but it feels it's effectively like effectively it. an auto it's so brain dead. Like, it's it might such as well a brain be. dead level. Oh my dog. There's a, there's a strat here called Taspedo. I can actually shoot these uh, things through the, the sensor bars with the regular torpedoes, but it's, it's so, it's so, it takes a long time to set up. And uh, I just, <laughs> I'm not gonna go for it. You're normally supposed to use the remote torpedoes through these, but you don't need to. Um, I guess that now's a good time to remind everyone that we're raising money for Beyond Blue, uh, who have helped uh, many people, myself included, uh, through bouts of uh, des um, <laughs> depression and anxiety. Um, they're a really, really good Australian-based charity, and you'll be donating for a really good cause. So, um, yeah. yeah, keep them coming in. We're doing really well so far, but we've still got a long way to go. So I can't shoot this sub, I've got to follow it. Yeah, so this is sort of like the break level after those three last intense levels. And then I have an even bit, uh, longer auto scroller in the next level and then, um, and then I have countdown which is sort of the true last level of the game and then I have equinox which is an entire auto scroller which is the last level so, so yeah. Countdown when I get to it though will be pretty rough but it's not as rough as like Chain Reaction or Phoenix Fire. Oh yeah, you probably also noticed I'm driving in first person. Uh, firstly, it reduces lag because we're not looking at the car, but also it's just a bit easier to control too. I'll be doing it in the next mission too. Yeah, so at this point, like I'm actually gonna be going in front of the sub eventually. And um, with that, I'll actually, uh, I'll actually be able to go really fast. So you notice I'm like taking every little shortcut I can to get like in front of the sub and gain speed gradually over time. So here I'm actually gonna go in front of the sub. I need to slow down a little there or I'll bonk on the door. And I'm gonna hug the left wall here. I think we've got a really important donation, Liam. Would there be time to hear it out? Go ahead. Read it, my dude. Dangerous Gaming 69 has given four dollars and twenty cents. What an arbitrary number! Great to see my favorite gamer running Double S7 Nightfire. Stay dangerous and eat on island. Escape my fellow gamers. <laughs> thank you for the what for a the, lad. Thank you for the four dollars twenty. Dangerous Gaming 69. No, you got it right. Man, that Dangerous Gaming 69 sounds like a cool guy. He even uses my emotes. He's on. That's a tier three. What a legend. Oh. So yeah, the rest of this game is like honestly quite chill until you get into the end game. Like this yeah. is another area that's for the most part, again, really, really relaxed. This, th the only intense part of this level is the driving. Yeah, there's once, like once some, you're past this and you're in the There's place. like some tight turns also, that was really cool. <laughs> he like jumped over the top of me. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I've had so many runs die just because I forgot to download the access code from this base. And shoutouts to the time when I lost a race to Matt Timber because I didn't get that. Feels bad, man. Feels baguette, man. Yeah, it feels baguette, man. Alright, so these cars can get in my way. That was pretty good. Oh, my dog! Okay, I'm still good. I'm still good. Alright, let's see if I can it's flip It's just a little car. crushed. It's still good. It's still good. <laughs> Oh, I flipped the car! It's yes. just a little flipped, it's still good! <laughs> yeah, so, I flipped myself back up in the cutscene. That's just a little swag you, I can throw in. Okay. Transmitting access 
I wasn't even mashing V. So I guess I think like I just to frame. just to fill some dead air here. One of the cool things about the driving in this game, uh, the dev studios there were, were two involved, and one of them was actually Need for Speed devs. That, uh, yeah, this the driving missions for this actually use a modified Need for Speed engine. Yeah, like obviously Liam uh, skipped all of enemies vanquished, but like casually, it's a really really fun level. Yeah, no, this game is great casually, like so good. If you want to play this, by the way. Uh, wouldn't really recommend the PC version. It's a oh, completely different don't. game by Gearbox. It's, it's really yeah, not that good. Get, really the, touch it. get the GameCube version or Xbox or PS2. GameCube's the best, though. Yeah, if you intend to run this game running on PS2, uh, not PS2, GameCube is the way to go. I would buy it on PS2 because I don't run a GameCube all week. Uh, we've got uh, $11.31 from Kai and Rouse. Uh, it says, love the stream. Congrats to the tech team and the organizers for putting this together. Great work. Thank you very much. Thank you for that donation. Nice. All right, so yeah, there's only a few speed tricks here. I can shoot this bridge as fast as possible. Nice. And now the level's pretty much an auto-scroller. <laughs> there's only like a few tricks here and there. So yeah, I had to be very, very cautious. I had to get the armor, otherwise I'll actually die in this uh, auto-scroller and I'll have to do the whole thing again. Okay, so I'm not going to shoot this tower immediately because for some reason it's like five seconds faster to shoot it now and when I lock on. For some reason. Same for these cars. Hang on. My guess is maybe they're programmed once you've locked to like go to a preset homing path rather than just free firing at a certain speed. That's like my guess. For some reason, it's f I save like half a second. If I wait for the car, that car there to cross the bridge, I don't know. So yeah, there's nothing to do. I can shoot the lights. I don't well, like lights. Well, then let's let's keep it interesting, Liam. What's your favorite 007 film? Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Who, who is your favorite Bond overall? Well, you see, I. <laughs> it's a tough one. It's like, I like Pierce Brosnan, but he's so like. Very He's cheesy. not the best Bond, that's the thing. The best Bond is Sean Connery. Yeah. I'm sorry. Call me basic. Casino Royale is my favorite. I love that movie. With Daniel Craig. Yeah, dude. My man! <laughs> <laughs> that movie's hilarious. Senate, I saw your message. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, actually, can I look at my pace? Pretty good, pretty good. Nothing really major can go wrong with this run now. Like, I'm I'm pretty safe. I just have to hope for a good countdown and don't screw up Equinox, and I'm... I'm great. Shh. Shh. Please don't say that. Not after last night. Please. <laughs> As you can see, we're just edge of our seat riveted right now. Oh, dude, such riveting if, gameplay. Honestly, if chat has just questions, even if they're just vaguely 007 related, just give them to us. Keep yeah, us talking, like, please. There's nothing else Go to say. Go for it. Ask us about other 007 games if, if you're really struggling for something. Like, like I can see the chat right now. I, I like, can safely look away right now. Best Bond girl, uh, Allura, who's Australian. Oh, I should give a quick shout out to the Japanese version of this game. It's not it's, like it's an anime dub. Yeah, it, it is. The thing is, it's not faster. There's no benefit to Japanese at all. But like James Bond sounds like like the most generic anime guy ever. And so Dominique, one of the women, is like an anime girl, and she's like James. James Kataiski. And then M talks to uh, 007. She's like 007. And that's the last enemy of this level besides the turret up here. All right, our, our auto-scroller hell will be ending in a moment, <laughs> thankfully. There's still another auto-scroller after this, kind of. Well, Why? it really is. 
Yeah, it, it's sort of like a little um. But like I can section. I can do stuff to make it go faster. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I'm gonna try and go for the super optimal strat here. I need to try and hit my rockets down here, and if I do it right. Yeah, got it! Poggers. <laughs> that does nothing. <laughs> All right, so this is Titanfall, James Bond edition, guys. No, <laughs> I missed oh, it. Oh, rip. I lost a little bit of time for that. It's, it's nothing, nothing major. So yeah, it's actually only the tanks at this part that make the game go faster. Man, I'm glad he wasn't taking his time or anything. Do you want to die? Thank you. Alright, so towards the end here, there's a bar on the uh, what, like right side of the screen, I think, that charges up. And uh, you want to like use it twice. Yeah, there you go. That little like blue bar off to the right there. Um, you want to time that with a sub that comes out of the water because I believe it's two shot to kill it. Nah, just one. Oh, just one. Okay. I'm just blowing stuff up because I can. Just booling, my dude. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I wait for this sub to come out. And I've got to shoot it about now. Well, I can shoot it. I don't know. It really, it, the window to kill that thing is like so, so wide. Alright, so this is the true final level right, of the game. Alright, everyone in chat, wake up. Wake up, we're, we're playing the game again. This is countdown. Um, I have to be very, very, like, focused. This level is pretty intense. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to throw some remote mines here to get a quick kill on the... Uh, this boss that comes up here. I'm gonna go four. I really don't need to, but I'm doing it anyway. Because I think that first mine I threw was bad. Three mines can work fine, but I, I, I'm, I'm a scared boy. So this is a pretty precise skip I'm going to go for here called slow door skip. This door normally opens very slow, but I can skip it. Liam's taking his time with those panels to shoot the red one. It blows up, kills him, and fails instantly. Yeah. Okay. Yes, got it. Nice. nice. Solid. That is so tight. Oh my god. Okay, I need his grenades for later. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly kill this guy. Nice. Pace. <laughs> Don't worry about your pace, you do not want to choke in this game. Okay, I can shoot that grenade there, and that's that's really easy to line up. It blows up the trip mine and those two guys. So this is silo skip. Okay, nice. Nice. I've lost a lot of runs to that. So we're coming up on one final skip of the run, and it's called Kiko Skip. So this is going to make me skip like a three, four minute battle sequence by bypassing a trigger. It's pretty tough, and it was found by Fitterspace, the guy who finds like almost everything in this game. And um, Nice little clip there, by the way. Okay, I'm going safe, I'm getting armor. So I throw those grenades, it actually scares the enemies. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. So Liam is performing Kiko skip here. If you were to move too far forward here, there's a button he's going to hit here. It would not nice. activate otherwise. Fantastic. <laughs> that is... He's making it look effortless, but it's very easy to screw up, and that can, like... If you're on right. BB pace, that will kill your run. So this is, like, pretty much the end of the game. Uh, this, le this is the last level, but it's a complete auto-scroller. Okay. All I can do to really make it go faster is I can... I can kill Drake really quickly and kill these two guys at the start really fast. I can also draw on Drake's face. <laughs> nah, I won't do that. Not marathon safe. Nah. I mean, you still looked right at What's the difference, mate? Like, come on. Alright, so yeah. Like, I have mate. to disarm these mate. missiles. Also, I can punch stuff still. Right, you know what, Liam? Here's my challenge to you to fill the dead air of this auto scroll because I feel bad for earlier. Describe to us the deep, the deep lore and story of 007 Nightfire, since we're at the end now. What's been going oh, on? Oh yeah, hang on. This is how we stop World War Three, guys. Uh, so it turns out to disarm nuclear warheads, I can punch them. <laughs> yeah, like I will also say it's not safe slower. if you don't mind dying of radiation poisoning in a week. <laughs> It's not slower to actually punch them. It's just like super swag. So yeah, like... <laughs> there's not much else to there's say. Me. Liam, describe to us the, the, the story of Nightfall. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Because you're going to be skipping all of it with the donation incentive coming up. Oh yeah. Tell so, us about Drake and how we're skipping him. So yeah, Drake's the big bad like enemy of this game. But uh, the donation incentive for Drake Percent has been met. So all of this gameplay that we did uh, isn't going to mean anything because I'm going to show a way to kill Drake in the first level of the game. So here I actually... Okay, I guess I'm not punching the missile. I was going to say I actually punched the missile there because I usually run out of ammo. But I'm being a safe boy. Oh, you want to die? No! Give me some ammo! There we go. Okay. So these are the last of the bad dudes. I'm just ruining Drake's space station here. So I have an audio cue coming up soon. I'll tell you when time is in a second. Time will be coming up soon. All right, goodbye, Drake. For the first time. For the last time. No, you're doing Drake this Hang time. Hang on, Shh. audio cue. I've got to fire as soon as Alora says laser. See you, kiddo. <laughs> and... Time. Poggers. 38, yeah, boy! Solid! <laughs> and That's now Liam will time. proceed to yeet on all 38 of those minutes with Drake Percent. Oh, uh, so I guess we'll watch this and I'll just give shout outs before I do Drake Percent. Um, Really, I just want to shout out the entire 007 community, Vita Space, Mike Mint, Matt Timber, Ollie NK, uh, all the Nightfire boys, Shoulder Shot, I hope you get that sub 40 one day, dude, I believe in you. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks you all for watching, thank you ASM for having me, uh, and now we do Drake Percent. Shout outs to Bond Tux. Yeah, shout outs to Bond Tux. Thanks for the uh, donations. Mind mind taking a few days off.
Yeah, no, like seriously, thanks again to everyone who's been donating during the marathon. Yeah, it's thank been crazy. you so much for donating. We're so close to three thousand dollars. It's absolutely insane. Oh, Can we please meet that three thousand dollars? Can we do it before the champion, end of my run? Just donate twenty-eight dollars and sixty-eight cents. Just get it square on three k. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I have to. Oh, that's all this. Yeah, I have to reset my console to do Drake percent. Okay, so you saw that my time was 38.26, right? I'm gonna beat the game technically in like two minutes now. So I have to watch all this again because uh, otherwise I would have had to watch the credits. I have to set up the code name again. No, keep the music on. I'm, I just have a muscle memory to turn that off. Because I usually play with it off. Anyway. So, get ready on the time to go again. Alright, yeah, this is Drake percent. Time will begin from the same point as the regular yeah. run's beginning point. Are you going to update it or... Are you doing that now? Okay, whatever. That's fine, it's fine. No, hold on, let me, let me pull up the clock out. I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah, we can do the time. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, okay I'll, yeah. I'll, tell, I'll tell you when. You just get ready on go. Let's go. Okay, so get ready. Go. I swear, if you get like bad spotlights, I'm gonna be so mad. That's right, I, st I have to go through the spotlights again. Sorry if I blinded everyone there. <laughs> it's alright, I didn't need my eyes anyways. I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to have him like just putting the glasses on, but I timed it wrong. Anyway. So yeah, there's a way I can kill Drake in the first mission, and the timer stops as soon as I take a photo of Drake's dead body. And I'll tell you when that is. You can bless RNG. Okay, we're good. Nice. Oof! That again! Was close. Very close. Okay, so this trick, it's not frame perfect, but it does have a tight window. So what I need to do is like punch one of the guards and pause at the same time. Let's, hit, let's hope I get it. Okay, hang on. Got it! Yes! <laughs> so I wait about five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Now the game's in a state where it's like, did you fail or wait, did you not? So I can't do anything. I can't pause. I can't, I can't do anything. But yeah, the game is like confused whether I actually did or not. Like did fail or not. So uh, yeah, I can do whatever I want. I need to not punch Rook here because Rook will actually, he doesn't die, I'll show that. He doesn't die. He's, he's a big man, he doesn't die. Anyway, uh, so I can just bypass these guys. Oh, there's no sound either, by the way. I, you probably noticed, but yeah, there's no sound. So I can, uh, I can make people dance too with the stunner, which is pretty funny. Watch, I think it works with them. No, it doesn't. Anyway, so yeah, we did that, but ho, 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 look who's here. And Get ready on time. Time. <laughs> Crown on world record. <laughs> Crown on world record. So yeah, I can make people dance. I can't fail. But as I stated before, like the game, it's fully soft locked now. I can't do anything. I, I can't progress either. So the only thing I can do is turn my console off. So yeah, thank and you all for having fire. me. Uh, thank you ASM for putting this marathon on. Thank you GooniSA for having us. Thank you all on Twitch for your donations and uh, enjoy the rest of ASM. Oh yeah. And thanks very much for that very intense run, Liam. It was very cool. Uh, next up we have uh, Super Mario 3D Land by Duck700. The Duke. Thank you. 
Where's my lab? There it is. Oh, that's a big load off my shoulders. Yeah, you can't really 